Parallel scrolling is one of the coolest techniques that many 2D games use to create an illusion of depth and add visual interest to the game's background. It achieves the effect by moving different layers of the background at different speeds relative to the camera movement. Now sit back, relax and let me show you how you can do this with no code required. The access for this tutorial will be got from Open Gamers by Robotraj and this will be linked in the comment section down below. Okay, so I've created my scene and I have a player which has a very basic left right movement functionality and a camera which we're going to use to test out our parallax effect then i have going to add a parallax background to our scene which inherits from the canvas layer and allows us to draw this child node in the background with a layer offset of minus 100 by default then i'm going to add a parallax layer which is used to create depth um, for objects that are distant and allows them to move more slowly than objects that are nearer okay so I'm just going to duplicate this three times and rename this to PG back, PG middle, and PG front. Okay, now you want to add a sprite to each parallax layer and I'm just going to drag their respective image to each sprite so, and front okay now what you want to do is to center you want to toggle off center I don't think I want to drag and reposition the image so you can just highlight everything and just toggle off center then zoom in here and let's just scale this by two now if we were to run this our image works so right now let's work on looping our image so that whenever the player moves the image keeps on mirroring and we keep on seeing the image so what we want to do is go to our mirror and what a lot of people won't tell you is to mirror your image you want to multiply your sprite size by your scale so let me show you what i mean here so now for our sprites here all they all have the same size and with a width of 792 and what a lot of people will do is to just set the value of their mirror in here which isn't going to work why because we had adjust the scale for our texture so what you want to do is always to whenever you want to mirror your image you multiply your sprite size so that's either the width or the height by its scale value which is two here so I'm just going to multiply this by two and yeah so as you can see our texture works perfectly and if I were to reset this you will see this doesn't work why because our scale value is in two again so this will be just 792 and it still works fine so basically if you want to mirror just multiply your right size by the scale 
just going to set this back to and multiply this by two. Okay, let's test this out. Okay, so our back keeps on looping, which is pretty good. Now let's just do this for the rest. So multiplied by two and run this again. Okay, so now we have a parallax background that keeps on looping our texture. But now we want to create depth. So what we want, we want this, which is the front to move with the speed of the camera, then the middle move a little bit more slowly and the back probably a little slower. So we can do that by changing the scale value of our parallax layer. So for the front, I'm just going to leave that as one and the middle Change this to 0 0.5 and for our back 0 0.1. And let's test this out again. Ah, now this is gorgeous. Now we have a very beautiful parallax effect which we can use in our game. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to duplicate our main scene right here. Just going to call this main two, and going to open our scene, and I'm going to change the parallax layer to fit our the name of our sprite texture right there. So BG Sky and bg clip then i don't think we need this anymore and i'm just going to drag their respective images to the sprite texture okay now first of all what i want to do is to reset all their property okay and that is done so we want to scale our eye background to fit the size of our viewport. And we can do that by changing the sprite scale right here to three, which I think is fine. Then our cliff, we probably don't want to scale it. So what you just need to do is to repeat this image texture a couple of times so i'm just going to duplicate this here then you want to make sure that they are both clipped together so you could make use of your snap grid right here which is already toggled on and yeah so repeat this a couple more times Okay, and yeah, okay, now to mirror this image, what you need to do is just like previously, multiply your sprite texture um, width, in our case the width, which is 176 by the sprite scale in our case so the x which is one and you have to make sure that all the scale for the axis are actually the same or else this won't work as expected so 
we go to our motion mirroring then we multiply the sprites with for the x-axis by a scale which is one by the number of sprite texture we have on the, the parallax layer which is six and this would make it work perfectly and clip make it mirror the image well so if we were to run this oh, having worked on the background so let's do this for the background too i think for the background our scale is three and this has a width of 384 so 384 times a scale okay now if we were to run this this would sort of work perfectly as you can see when we started there was like a little bit of i think this should work yeah so like a breaking in the and why is this well this is because um the viewport as this is greater than the mirroring so so this doesn't actually draw the image as we expected i think you can check that out in the Google documentation so what we have to do is to make sure that when adding all this texture we reach the end of our viewport doesn't matter if it has to stay on the line so you can just pass it like i did even though the image is passing so then to mirror we multiply this 116 by scale one which is still the same by number of sprite texture here which is seven now and yeah so we're to run this now we don't see that weird breaking we had previously when running it okay now i'm just going to change your motion scale property i said this is 0 0.1 and maybe say this one okay change the cliff here 2.6 now we have a very beautiful parallax background here with repeating texture with depth and yeah now if you think what i just did was a little bit too complex now there's an even easier method so i'm just going to delete this make one and what i want to do now is to go to my region enable this then auto slice so it's this okay now I'm just going to increase the weight to our viewport axis, which is a hundred and fifty two, I think. Yeah. Then I'm just going to go to texture here and set repeat to enabled. Okay. Now, I think what we need to do now. Is to just set our mirroring to 152 times one which is still and as we can see we still have that same cut which is the same thing i explained previously and we can fix that by just multiplying the sprites 
that is our image width by let's just say seven which was the number we used previously times seven and yeah so this is 132 and we can just simply set that right here and it's still going to mirror perfectly so where to run this we see that this method too also works now the last of this tutorial should be the infinite scrolling background which you can check out my flappy bear tutorial where i worked on that and if you're a beginner of just starting godot this can be a really good video for you i think you can find valuable information there so you can just click the card being displayed and head on to the video or check the comments in the link below because YouTube still haven't allowed me to post links in the description. But please like, subscribe and maybe they would enable it and I'll see you in the next one.